How do mushrooms sort of fit into this picture? And what are your favorite, you know, recipes or types of mushrooms that fit into this epigenetic kind of world? I'm really bullish on mushrooms as very epigenetically important. And I think that their time has yet to come. Um, we're going to study beta glucans more carefully and the different types of beta glucans. And I think we're going to be able to see what uh, kind of role, you know, that they're playing. And I just have no doubt that they're going to be important. We know now that, I mean, mushrooms are almost like a corollary to liver in, te in, in terms of some of them being just very micronutrient dense. And of course, you could throw them out in the sun and get some vitamin D, which I think is really cool. We've got a, we actually have a nice vitamin D mushroom recipe that we popped in the book. Um, I like maitake, enoki, I like reishi, I like shiitake. We've, you know, shiitake, we, we get, shiitake, we're considering one of our dynamic dozen. So we recommend it as a top, um, nutrient in our program. Uh, but, you know, really pick any of the, any of those mushrooms. And I think, um, they could also be in the dynamic dozen. We know that, that studies, early studies, show one of the ways that mushrooms exert their benefit, like in Alzheimer, for instance, is in changing DNA methylation patterns. Um, so they're not, they don't just have the methyl donor nutrients, which you know, they do, and some of them have them in rich abundance, but they have, I think that they have those, these methyl, methyl adaptogen properties as well in helping establish a favorable. So they're not just pushing methylation forward by throwing a bunch of methyl donors there, but they they seem to be dictating a more favorable gene expression as well. Um, at least that's what the what the what the early research says. And you know, as I as I mentioned, I think I think this is this is an evolving field, and we're going to have more exciting studies coming out. And probably we'll learn that some of the wonderment of mushrooms has to do with its their ability to regulate gene expression. That's my belief.